Okay, so today's starter, it's all about just simple DC circuit problems, but, and I'm just dealing with uh, four ohm resistors here, just playing around with them, and hopefully we can see a pattern here. Uh, we want to, uh, uh, the question is, how much current is flowing through each resistor in the circuit shown below? Okay, and so for A, and I'll just kind of write the solutions here. I'm not really using given, find, and solve. I really, I guess I should. This is given. And then find is I for each resistor. So let's go ahead and solve it. So for A, we've got uh, electrons being pushed through this circuit by an electric field created by the electrochemistry of a battery. So take uh, chemistry or AP chemistry. AP chemistry, they really talk about electrochemistry and how batteries uh, create the, uh, you know, kind of separate charges and put, they want to get back together. So they have to go through the wire to do so and they get pushed. And when you have a force, you know, pushing them, you, you actually transfer energy. So they're going through like this. Well, the uh, pattern that we said was Ohm's law, which is V equals IR. Now, uh, let's see if I can find it. Put it. Oh, never mind. Um, oh, it's up there. Can you grab me that thing? That V IR thing? Yeah, bring it over here. Oh, for heaven's sakes. <laughs> this is seventh period physics. They're kind of special. All right. So, Mr. Kinney made me this. Sometimes it's V equals IR, but other times it's, sometimes they use this cursive E for EMF, the electromotive force of the battery. Okay. But they, they're the same thing. Have you seen one of these triangles like this before? Okay, so V equals I times R, R equals V divided by I, you know, algebra one, and then I equals V over R. So it's kind of a nifty little thing that Mr. Kinney made with his scroll saw. He's very crafty. Okay, <coughs> so V equals I over R, or I times R, and so we want to find I, so I equals V over R. And so this is just going to be 12 volts over um, 4 ohms. So I equals 3 what? What's a volt divided by an ohm? Amps. It's an amp. Because remember, what is an ohm? This is like saying a volt divided by a volt per amp. An ohm is a, how much voltage you need to get one amp of current to flow through something. So the volts cancel, you get one over, one over amps, which is amps. I'll only bug you about that a hundred times. Okay. Now for part B, now we've got uh, <coughs> two resistors. But they're in series. So what is the resistance of this circuit? Well, resistors in series, you just add them up, right? That was the video you watched uh, on Thursday when I was gone, right? And if you were gone, you need to go back and watch that. R1 plus R2. So that's 4 ohms plus 4 ohms equals 8 ohms. So, uh, I is going to be equal to 8 ohms over what? Uh, 12 volts. Oh, I'm sorry. 12 volts over 8 ohms. And what is that? Uh, one and a half? 1.5? Now what do you notice about this current compared to the last current? It's half as big because I've got twice as much resistance. So the same voltage gives me half the current. 
there's more re resistance to that voltage. So you get less current flowing through the circuit. Pretty easy, I think. Okay. Now part C is tricky. Well, not tricky, but you might have done the wrong kind of work. Because what did I ask for? I asked for the current flow through each resistor. So let's look at this resistor. What is that resistor? Um, well, just this four. I mean, I'm sorry, it's, this resistor is four ohms. How much voltage drop is there across that resistor? Hmm? What? Now, you have two resistors in parallel. Things in parallel have the same what? No. The same voltage drop. Now, remember, voltage man, right? Did I talk about voltage man in that video? I don't know, maybe not. Voltage, uh, uh, voltage man walks through the circuit do, 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 and gets boosted in energy. 12 joules per coulomb of charge. I started off with nothing. And now when I hop across this uh, battery or electric cell, I now have more uh, energy. Well, I had zero down here, but now I've got 12 joules per coulomb. Now, I, resistors take energy out of a circuit. And so I deliver that energy out of the circuit and get back to zero. So if everything is 12 volts up here and everything is zero volts down here, I got to jump down 12 volts. So if V equals IR for a resistor, an individual resistor, well, I equals V over R, just like we've been saying. Well, from here down to here is 12 volts. And it's only four, four ohms of resistance. And so we get three amps, just like in part A. So the, the current through this resistor is three amps, and the current through this resistor is three amps. Does everybody see that? Yes. Now, how much current is coming out of the battery? Well, look, I got three coulombs per second flowing through here. That's what an amp is, right? A coulomb per second. I've got three coulombs per second flowing this way. So they're coming out of here. It's kind of almost like water in a hose. So how much, if this much current is coming out and this much current is coming out of this side, how much current had to be going in? Huh? Six. Six amps. So this has to put out six amps of current. And it flows through here. And then because these resistors are identical resistors, it splits the current in two and you get three amps and three amps. Does everybody see that? Yes. Now what's the equivalent resistance of this? Well, you could say, well, look, I've got 12 volts, R equals v, uh, v over I, and I got 12 volts, and I said I got 6 amps, so that's 2 volts per amp is an ohm. That's the, that's the total resistance of the whole circuit. Is there another way of getting that total resistance? Yeah, remember, I gave you an equation for resistors in parallel. So I'm running out of room here on this paper, but resistors in parallel is 1 over 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Remember that? I know it's been a few days, five days. Huh? Oh, I did that. You did it this way. Very good. Yeah. So this is 1 over 4 ohms plus 1 over 4 ohms. What's one fourth plus one fourth is one half. One over one half is two. Two ohms. So you get the same answer either way. Yay.
It all works. So, any questions on these guys? Here's the whole problem. Okay, well, I guess I should put a box around. It's three amps through each resistor, uh, six amps total coming out of that battery, and the equivalent resistance, therefore, is two ohms. I didn't really ask for that stuff, I'm just showing you. Okay? All right, that is all.